All right, guys, so we're back, and what we're gonna do is we are going to replace a laptop keyboard for a Toshiba Satellite M505S4940. Now, most laptops are pretty much basic. You have some screws on the top, some screws on the bottom, um, little casing to take off first, and uh, you know, little clip inside where you know you'll you'll want to really be detailed about not uh, touching anything else. But we'll show you all that. We'll go over all that. Uh, here we go. Okay, so here's my old keyboard. Here's my old keyboard. And uh, here's the new keyboard already installed. And uh, what I did, <laughs> which I shouldn't have done, is I sprayed some Windex on there to clean it. And I actually shorted out my three, uh, my three, my E, my D, and C buttons here. And I was having to use the virtual keyboard that's on the uh, the laptop here, and that's that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool feature there if you have that on your keyboard or on your your computer. Is uh, that virtual keyboard there? Yeah, that's uh, pretty nifty to have. In case any of your buttons ever go out, then you have that to uh, to work with. Yeah. So these are the tools we're going to use. Um, this is just a a, a skew here that we're gonna need. We don't want to use anything metal inside the, the computer, the laptop, when we're working on it. Nothing that's gonna conduct a, a shock, so you don't fry anything or short circuit anything on accident. And we got, uh, you know, flathead and uh, screwdriver here, a magnifying glass, you know, and a uh, flashlight. You can get some detail. You can see in there. It's really good. And this is uh, some thread lock for when we put it back together. Yes. And then, of course, a little case in there to put your screws and nuts in so you don't lose any pieces. And it's uh, very, very good that you have a clean environment to work with. Now, one of the first things we want to do here is we want to take off the screws. And there are some screws here on the battery. You can see it there. So you want to take off the battery right here. Take off the battery. And there will be two screws here. One here and one there. I'm going to take those off. If you can hear in the background I'm making coffee. <laughs> and I'll show you here in a minute where those screws go to. Flip it around and now now we are ready to take off the strip here, this plastic strip. I want to be very careful in uh, not breaking the plastic. Just uh, popping it out there. Wedge your little flathead in there. Don't break it. Just pop it out. Okay. And those two screws were holding this guy in there, plus other things. So you just want to pop it out. There you go. And now it's out, and as you can see here, there's where the screws went into. One there, and one there. Now that that's out, uh, you can see... Now that that's out, you can see we have uh, one screw there above the F1 key. And... Another screw there, above, you know, between the uh, pause brake and insert key right above it. So we want to take that screw out, and that screw out, and then the keyboard should come out. But what you'll want to remember when doing this is that there is the keyboard on the inside is, is plugged in. There's a small little plug. I want to take that one out. Put it in our, uh, put it in our little screw keeper there, whatever you want to call it. Little dish. Do that part right there. Now we can just slide the keyboard off. And as you can see there, that is where it is connected to that there. 
All right, and so we want to take this part here. See if I can shine the light on it. And after pulling those two caps off, it should be able to slide out. And there it is, slid out. Yeah, so here's what your laptop looks like with the keyboard off. As you can see here, there's two clips. It's this clip here that moves in. And this one up here that moves in to keep the uh, uh, that plug in. So you gotta unclip it, unclip that. All right, so they're both unclipped now. And then uh, when you plug it in, you then want to close it just like that. And you then want to uh, close it just like that. And to try not to touch or scratch anything down here in this area because you don't want to damage your laptop. <laughs> so now we're going to put it back on and uh, if you look on the bottom here, these clips here, these little metal hinges there, they actually actually set in here just like that so it sits in there now one of the most difficult parts here is uh, putting this back in there and now that's what we're gonna do here so we're gonna put this back in there and it should slide right in should slide right in. there you go that's right in there slide right in and once it's in there you want to put your clip on, one clip, there, and the other one there, and voila, we have now, there we go, it's in there. Because we can't get our fingers in there to do this, we are going to use this skew here that we've been using. So, and then we just set this here. Should slide right in. Now that it's all slid in there, we can then put that screw back in there and the other screw back in there. And what? Uh oh. <laughs> Put those back in there. So what you want to do is you want to use you want to buy some of this here. It's a thread lock, and uh, I use this for other things like uh, I have a Savage 21 as you see in my other videos. A, a little gas powered remote control truck, really awesome toy. What you want to do is you want to put just a little bit. Would have been on there. No. It's thread lock. You do not want screws coming out in your, your laptop. So once you got that on there, you proceed to screw that puppy back in. That's on there pretty good. Not too tight. Not too loose. Just right. Maybe put a little bit more. Good luck on here. I don't know if you can see it. A little bit. Just a little bit. Get that puppy on there. Use this to <laughs> wipe it off. Good to 
go. And then <clears throat> we need to put a little plastic strip back on. Snap it in from uh, from left to right. Or right to left, I guess it really doesn't matter. <laughs> All snapped in. And get a good feel for it. Make sure it's in there. Gonna hold your uh, keyboard down as well. Okay, so now we're going to close it and flip it around. We're going to thread lock these puppies. Now that that's on, you uh, can just plug it in, turn it on, let's see if it works. So let's check it out. Got it back on, put your locks on. That's always a good sign when it boots up. <laughs> and there we go. And voila. So now the real test here is seeing if our three R E our three R E D and C button are working. Because as you remember, uh, that's the reason why we uh, replaced it. Because that went out. So go ahead and open this puppy up here. Too much of a glare. Alright, let's check and make sure our 3D, E, and C are working now. 3E, D, and C. Alright, and uh, that is how you successfully replace a laptop uh, keyboard. Yep. <laughs> so, until next time, do we make another video? It's understood that Hollywood sells California.